I had a chance to get drafted, uh, but they were talking about putting me in the D League for two to three years, you know, slaving away for 20000 a year, 10000 a year. But I turned those down, you know, I bet on myself. Obviously, everybody dreams to get drafted, you know, as a kid growing up. Um, again, to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, my story don't end here. It's just the beginning. It doesn't make sense for my story. I did get picked. Um, I've been against the odds my whole life. Stop now. Yeah, he's telling me he don't think I should, he don't want me to get drafted. He's saying it'd be better, you know what I'm saying, to not get drafted. You could position, we could pick where we want to go, the whole nine, whatever. He had a vision of, of what he thought was going to happen. And I'm saying, well, nigga, why the fuck did I just do 18 workouts for it? And I'm out here, you know what I'm saying, running my head against the wall. And these, and then you you telling me not to get drafted. Why, why don't I just do that for 30 days? And in that moment, he's just like, well, you know, just trust me. He tell me, just trust me, trust me, trust me. That's what he tell me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I'm telling you, it'll work out. You can make a team. You're good enough to, you're, a, you're an NBA player. You're not a D-League player. And he said, you know, just bet on yourself. And that shit just hit me. It was like a movie almost, like where everything just stopped and slowed down. Do you want to try to do both summer leagues and take no money? If I got a chance to make Toronto, I might as well take the money and then work all the way up from there. I mean, here's the thing, what's this? Are you going to do against Toronto? I'm going to just get hurt. We stay well. You can get caught up. Right. Yeah, I mean, if that's... Worst case scenario is take a 50 for a fucking training camp. I took that chance with the Raptors. I'm not even really looking at the whole thing of, like, they already got three point guards. They just drafted a point guard last year. They got an all-star point guard. They got one of the best backups in the league. Like, I didn't even think that far ahead. I was like, I know that there's a guy in the front office that likes me. So there's one dude that likes me, right? That's all I need. And I'll do the rest. So I'm like, shit, I'm just going to work my way up. show up every day I do my job I work extremely hard I try to be coachable I try to be accountable I try to be a good teammate um, a good leader and all of those things come way before anything else and I just hope that they see that you can be rewarded you know for doing things the right way as an undrafted rookie um, staying over there in the Rose Mine and just literally you know being on my knees praying before I went to bed to make the team you know what I mean like like Every night, 
you know what I'm saying, just pouring out everything I got during practice and um, workouts and things like that and just praying that somebody would see that. And it's not really about like praying that I've I've done my job, you know what I mean? It's more so for the recognition because I've always believed in myself, but you know, I've never had someone else believe in me like this. Fred Van Vliet, Drake, twins going to Cleveland. 